for this project, I wanted to build a floating shelf, a floating entertainment unit under my TV, have all the wires hidden and everything. But uh, I decided to build one rather than purchase one. And then when looking at prices of wood and just the concept, I felt I wanted to try repurpose one and see if I could do that first. So the one you're, I'm showing here, this is the ad. So this is what it looked like originally. What I did to it was I shortened it um, and I, I cut back the depth of it too. I didn't want it sticking out that far. And the top piece I cut back because I wanted it to be uh, flush with the actual, I didn't want it to overhang like you see in the picture there. So with that, a couple of things that uh, I didn't mention during my videos that I just want to mention now, just so you know, is first off uh, where I did my uh, screw holes on the top. They had the funky system holding the top down and I didn't like that because I'm using it more of a support. I wanted it sturdier so I actually drilled down and screwed down from the top into the sides. But I, with that I wanted to hide the screws so I didn't want them showing. So because I shortened the depth of it so much I had dowels left over. And so what I did was I just drilled the top of the screw head uh, where the hole is wide enough the, the right size for a dowel and then put it down, hacksawed it clean and then sanded it and uh, stained over top. The other thing I just wanted to mention quick is for supporting it, you can see here now in this picture, the back plate, of the backboard that I put in, that is what's supporting it off the wall. That is set inside, so therefore the top piece is almost resting on it, even though it's not screwed to it, the top piece is screwed to the sides. What I did though is I screwed, and you can see in the picture here where I circled, I screwed two hole, two screws onto the vertical supports on each of them in the middle. So that's what's attaching it. Uh, I had a bit of a fear is it, towards is that enough, but it was more than enough. Uh, the total weight isn't too bad, so it was more than enough to, to keep it all firm and there's no wiggle in it at all. So that seemed to work. So there we go. So enjoy the rest of the videos here and uh, if uh, hit a nerve or if you see any ideas in there, then perfect. Let me know what you, what you did and how you built yours and uh, throw me a subscribe. Enjoy. Okay, so here's how the box turned out. Pretty much done now other than I got to stain it. But, so that'll be next, but I, my hinges came in. So I had to get a certain type because I wanted this to sit inside not outside so it had to be one that came inside so it was a bit of a particular hinge i'll put a link down below so you can see what i got but uh yeah turned out pretty nice now that i've done adjusting it a little bit okay yeah i like that fit i wasn't sure if i'd have to put a handle or something on this here to open it but it actually opens fairly easy which is nice and then a little bit of a soft close at the end I like it so now all my this will be the electrical and data compartment that's where my where all my inputs will be and then the cables can come out to the other five spots Turned out pretty good. Okay, so just finished staining them. I'll show you in a second. Here's what we got for what I put on. It's more of a clear and then a, a red mahogany. I like to use the red mahogany as uh, if I redo a trailer. It's a nice color with like a black frame and then that mahogany, oh, it just pops. So, there's the, the door in the red mahogany. And there's the, the semi-clear gloss per se. Wanted to try keep a bit of the natural color, so I'll let that dry for a bit. We'll put, the, put it back together and see how it looks. With this, I just wiped it on really thin. Both of them got one coat. With this, I just put it on really thin. Uh, with the door, I put it on it waited about maybe 30 seconds and then took a rag and just did one clean wipe to go across it just to 
to make it so it's not too dark so then that way you can still see the greens in it I didn't want it to be just solid color I just wanted it to pop a bit a little bit like a feature so yeah so then we'll get it back together and we'll see. okay it turned out nice with the stain I like that contrast that was the initial thing I was going for with that door almost like a feature door it worked out good that red mahogany is nice and let's reach in here pull it open I like it turned out good next get her up on the wall and then we're done So here's the final product. There's the TV. So here I got uh, my power and uh, data raceway, chaseway behind the TV. And down below, there's what I made. So this was repurposed from uh, an old unit that was solid wood, pine, and uh, cut it up and sanded and stained and made it how I needed it and added the electrical, which is fed from downstairs. And then, so I got two plugs I had to put in, two receptacles, this one and then the one above. And then... That's how it looks in the end, with all the cables hidden. Worked out well. The legs, you can see I put in two, that's where my studs, the third stud would have been about an inch off, so I couldn't use it, but it holds it no problem. It's not that heavy, it's pretty solid, but no worries for the leg bolts. It's, uh, I used 516 leg bolts. They are three and a half inches long, if I'm not mistaken. I think I went four inches long down here because I have to go through that wood so that took me a half an inch three quarters of an inch off the wall for the TV they're 5 16 leg bolts and I think they're three and a half long pre-drill obviously the one thing I will mention is the level that comes with the kit for the stand is amazing but uh, for the TV the level that comes with it throw it in the garbage I've compared it to my forefoot and it was way off. So do not use it. Other than that, that whole, that whole kit was fine. Uh, it all went together very well and uh, happy with how it turned out. Nice clean look. There you go. If you found any of this uh, enjoyable or helpful, uh, throw me a subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video.